The Department of Conservation manages Little Barrier Island along with the local iwi, the Ngāti Manahiri. It's one of those places where we've pioneered the removal of some of the more problematic introduced animals. So cats and rats have already been taken off Little Barrier some years ago. From our perspective, seeing the kind of technologies that um, this project uh, raises, it would give us a far more broad and precise understanding of exactly what has changed over time. So the project is called uh, the Model Ecosystem Project. The idea is to try and characterise the full composition of the ecosystem from the trees through to the birds, the inverts and the leaf litter in the soil. If we want to make successful comparisons among all the different sites across uh, the planet and try to understand what underlying drivers of ecosystem change might be, we need to have a similar set of methods, a standard suite of tools that we use so our results are comparable. The kind of techniques that are used to sample the environment are heavily reliant on you being able to identify what you've collected. Now this is easy for birds and plants, but when you get into the insects, worms and mites, those kinds of species are very hard to identify individually. So one of the approaches that we're looking at is using DNA sequencing technology in order to effectively provide a barcode that tells you what species it is. So even if we're a team working in New Zealand and there's another team working overseas, we can all put our results on the table and compare them genuinely with one another to see what the differences are. So we can end up scaling from Little Barrier Island to New Zealand, if not internationally, to try and get a picture of what diversity is doing across the planet. So the end users for this research, we hope, are the people all across New Zealand that are invested in the conservation of their country. And so what goes on on Little Barrier may well have other effects throughout uh, the rest of New Zealand. It will be a benefit to, to councils, to the Department of Conservation, to farmers, and to making sure that we have a way to characterise ecosystems across New Zealand.